If there are any remaining constitutional originalists that had any doubt that President Trump picked the right man to succeed Danton and Scalia on the Supreme Court, Neil Gorsuch should have made them believers Thursday night. That's when the newest justice on the nation's highest bench delivered a speech to the Federalist Society in which he threw down the gauntlet on constitutional originalism, the judicial philosophy of both himself and the late Justice Scalia. Tonight I can report that a person can be both a publicly committed originalist and textualist and be confirmed to the Supreme Court of the United States, Gorsuch said, according to the Washington Examiner. Originalism has regained its place at the table. Textualism has triumphed. And neither one is going anywhere on my watch. The Federalist Society is a right-leaning legal organization that Democrats have accused of being a secretive enclave out of which suggestions for President Trump's nominations to the federal bench have emerged. During his Thursday remarks at the Antonin Scalia Memorial Dinner at Washington's Union Station, Gorsuch chided those pushing that narrative. Trending, Clinton nightmare, uranium one informant has video of briefcases full of cash, for starters. If you're going to have a meeting of a secret organization, maybe don't have it in the middle of Union Station, Gorsuch said, according to the National Law Journal. Union Station, a D.C. landmark, is the chief rail station in the nation's capital and serves as a hub for the metro as well as a prime retail destination. He also said that if it wants to remain secretive, the society should also abandon its very public stances on our judicial system such as that a judge should say what the law is, not what it should be. You're a bunch of radicals, Gorsuch quipped. Not familiar with originalism? Well, I can only assume you're a liberal reading through this to post an angry response and not one of our regular, well-informed conservative Tribune readers. However, Scalia himself described the judicial philosophy best, the constitution that I interpret and apply is not living but dead, or as I prefer to call it, Enduring. It means today not what current society, much less the court, thinks it ought to mean, but what it meant when it was adopted. Gorsuch talked about his application of this philosophy in a case that was brought up by Democrat opponents during his confirmation hearings, a 2016 dissent in which Gorsuch said an employer could fire a trucker from walking away from a broken down truck after three hours in the cold because the applicable law only allowed employers to fire a trucker if there was a safety concern. He said that good judges in the case ought to have known three things, one, the law is telling me to do something really, really stupid, Gorsuch said. Two. The law is constitutional and I have no choice but to do that really stupid thing the law requires. And three, when it's done, everyone who's not a lawyer is going to think I just hate truckers. Related, Trump admin announces list of five contenders for a next Supreme Court vacancy. Gorsuch, of course, is not a man who hates truckers. He's just a man dedicated to the simple belief that what a law says is what a law means. And if that law is constitutional and dumb, that law ought to be changed by legislators, not the court. That's the way the founders set it up, and that's the way it should be. And thankfully, we have a judge on the Supreme Court who, much like Scalia, is willing to vigorously champion this way of thinking. H. T. Newsmax, please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on Gorsuch's remarks. What are your thoughts on judicial originalism? Scroll down to comment below.